is up guys, Justin here, coming at you with kind of a bittersweet video right now. I believe this is going to be the last video that I film down here in this game room. And by the time this video is uploaded, I'm sure it's all old news and stuff, but Ryan and I actually rented a house locally with another friend of ours, so the game room as you know it is no more. But again, by the time you guys are seeing this, I'm sure I already have another game room set up at the new place however makeshift it might be, but I don't know, I was just kind of like looking around and thinking about all the videos I filmed down here, and even the ones I filmed upstairs when I used to do that too, and just thinking back on all the games and systems that have come and gone through this basement, it was just kind of like a weird bittersweet feeling I guess, but anyway, on a more positive note, I've got some garage sale pickups for you guys, and actually everything in this video comes from one garage sale. It was a Friday morning garage sale, I was out with my cousin that morning actually, and we rolled up to this one sale, and they had like a few like little kids DS and Game Boy Advance games that we passed up on. But before we left, I asked the lady there if she had any other video games that they might be selling. And she's like, you know what, I think we do. Let me go find my husband. He knows where they are. So she goes into the house and seriously, for like 10 solid minutes, my cousin and I are outside listening to this woman scream her husband's name in the house, trying to find him. It was very apparent that he was nowhere to be found. <laughs> but anyway, she comes out like 10 minutes later. She's like, you know what, I can't find him. Can I get your number? I'll give you a call later. And so I gave her my number. I knew she wasn't going to call back. They never call back, right? So I was like, is it cool if I just stop by in a little bit? And she said, yeah. So we hit up the rest of the sales on our list, didn't find anything, and rolled back up to the sale. Luckily this time, the husband was there. I got to talking to him. He was asking me you know, what I might be interested in. So I let him know. He went into his house and like five, ten minutes later, comes out with a pretty sizable box of games. And I got some spy glasses footage of this. I did something a little bit different. Uh, like I said, I was with my cousin and I actually had him wear the spy glasses and film me kind of digging through the box of games and doing a little bit of negotiation and stuff. So I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but I just thought I would experiment a little bit. So check it out. So hopefully you could hear in the video, uh, we ended up settling on $90 for everything. I initially offered $80, he said $100, and we just kind of met in the middle at $90. So I'll start out with the N64 stuff we got, a uh, black system here, which did actually have the expansion pack in there, so that was cool. And then it came with the power adapter and uh, an RF cord here with one of these RF modulator things on it. And two controllers, we got a gray one and atomic purple, both with pretty decent joysticks on them. And then it came with three games as well. We got Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, Beetle Adventure Racing, and uh, Donkey Kong 64. And that was all the N64 stuff there. And he had a stack of GameCube games in there as well. Uh, there was no system though. I asked him if he was selling the system. They said they were hanging on to it, which led me to believe that they were probably hanging on to all their, you know, the Mario titles and stuff too. But um, I'm not going to complain. I got a decent stack of GameCube games here. Uh, the first one here was Crash Tag Team Racing, uh, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Madagascar, Monsters Inc. Uh, this one here, which is really cool, uh, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. This was kind of like one of those games that I halfway had on my wanted list. Like I was kind of keeping an eye out for it, but wasn't like actively pursuing it, I guess. But uh, it was pretty cool to get that one. We got Disney's Cars, which I, th I think I needed this one, and then a player's choice Sonic Heroes. So a decent stack of GameCube games there, and everything else that came in the box was PS2 stuff. So it came with a black slim system here, which had this stand on it here, so I'll put it on top of these GameCube games. It kind of just stands up like that vertically. And then it had a couple memory cards in there as well. And that came with the power adapter and the AV cord. And then it came with a bunch of controllers, but oddly enough, I don't think we got one like first-party PS2 controller. <laughs> there was this one here, 
which looks like a PS1 DualShock, which will probably work in the system anyway. But then we had a bunch of third-party controllers here. This one's Intec, clear gray Intec one. Uh, clear, I think this is Pelican. We've got this wireless one, which I don't think I got a receiver for that one. And then this Intec blue one. <laughs> and this one, which I've never seen before, it's like a weird-looking boomerang controller. Who's it made by? Cyclone Essentials? I have, uh... I've never heard of Cyclone before, so I don't know, I guess we'll try that controller out. And then it had this with it as well, the DVD remote, which I'm assuming this probably needed a sensor as well, which I don't think I got, but whatever. But it actually came with quite a few games here, and I'm going to move these controllers out of the way. And what better way to start it out than with uh, Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. This is like the outcast <laughs> of all the games in here. Oh, we got Pirates of the Caribbean, The Legend of Jack Sparrow, Ultimate Board Game Collection, which is actually still factory sealed. We got uh, Spider-Man 3, Transformers, Looney Tunes, Acme Arsenal, X-Men Legends 2, Rise of the Apocalypse, Destroy All Humans, Straight up juiced. <laughs> Got uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Marvel Superhero Squad. Transformers the Game. Bionicle. Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Wally. -E. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Halfway done through with the games now. Uh, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Spider Man Friend or Foe. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds. Guitar Hero 3. Sea Monsters A Prehistoric Adventure. Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. Pitfall The Lost Expedition. One more stack here. Of course, you know, I saved the best for last. Uh, we got Soccer Mania, Pirates, Legend of the Black Buccaneer, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, Snoopy the Red, Snoopy vs. the Red Baron, Twisted Metal Head On. That one looks kind of cool. Justice League Heroes. And the last three here were uh, Drakengard, cool looking Square Enix title, and uh, Drakengard 2. So, I'd never owned any of the Drakengard games before, but they definitely look like pretty cool Square Enix RPGs, so it'd be awesome to try those out. And then I'd say the best one that I got was uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And so I had seen this in the box initially while I was at the garage sale looking through them. And, I, you know, I realized that it was kind of like an expensive game, but I had no idea how valuable it actually was until I got home. It's like a $40, $50 game, uh, and it was complete and in really nice shape. I should probably mention most, if not all, these games were complete and in really nice shape. I mean, there's a couple, like this one, unfortunately, which had like a pre-owned sticker on it. I'll be able to get that off, though. But for the most part, they look like they were all probably bought new and kept in really nice shape. Um, you know, so that was awesome as well. Um, and to get this was obviously sweet, too, um, along with the Dragon Guard. So $90 for that whole bundle. It was kind of like one of those deals where... And I'm driving home, I was like, okay, $90, that's a lot of money. But after I got home and actually looked through everything that I got, I realized that it was definitely one hell of a deal. Definitely saved that garage selling morning or we would have been coming home empty-handed. So anyway, just taking one last look around. Like, you know, like I said, this is kind of like a bittersweet moment here. I'm about to sign off for the last time from this game room. But uh, anyway... I should probably be putting up some new content from, from the new game room. Like I said, who's to say change is always a bad thing, right? So anyway, uh, thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this entire video. And until next time, and probably from a new location, take care.